folks, it's Cheryl from Cheryl's Craft and Corner, and I want to show you, show you a little mini album I made tonight, and what inspired me, oddly enough, was this cardboard, and I got this from a Puffs uh, tissue box, and there's some mystique around hummingbirds, so when the box was empty, I cut the two panels off, that's one side, and then here's the other side. And I cut it down to um, five by four and, and a quarter. And I'll take you through the steps that I made, I did to make this album. So to cover the cardstock, um, cardboard, I used cardstock. And each page um, and cover, I used my cinch. And that um, allowed me to bind it. Now, as I was thinking of how I was going to make these pages, I grabbed some 12 by 12 cardstock, and what I did is I did a uh, three-fold, so I scored it twice. So I'll put all the dimensions below when I'm done um, with the video. And with the 12 by 12 cardstock, I cut it in half, so it ended up being six by 12. And to figure out how much space I had here, what I first did is, is I binded I punched the holes that the binding would accept and then took the remaining cardstock and scored it. So what it ended up being was being scored at um, four and a quarter and then again at eight. I ended up with a half a piece, uh, a quarter, a quarter, um, I'm sorry, quarter inch left over. So I ended up cut that, cutting that down. So the end result of this 12 inch piece end up being five inches by 11 and three quarters. Okay, so I scored it down at four and a quarter, scored it at eight, and then I glued it together to make a pocket. I made little tab uh, inserts to be able to put into each of these pockets. The cardstock I'm using is American Craft. And this tab punch is from Stampin' Up. Uh, I believe it's retired, but it's still uh, a tool that I will be using, continue using as it's the great tab punch to use. So once you fold the 12 inch or 11 three quarter inch by six inch piece of cardstock with the two score lines and then you make a pocket. Because this was not double sided cardstock, I end up using a Stampin' Up punch, I mean, I'm sorry, Stampin' Up stamp set called Simply Soft. And that's the stamp I used. And I used corresponding ink, it was Pierre Pizzazz. And I just did a su subtle background stamp image. And then the leftover piece of cardstock I had, I ran it down the edge, glued it in the back as a background as well. And then on the mats, on the back of the, um, the I'll call it the white side, is I used the Spellbinder dies, which are my favorite. So with two pieces of 12 by 12 cardstock, I'm able to get four of these um, trifold pages, pocket pages, and I just alternated them and then continued inking the sides and making the pages. Now on the, the um, tab, in, to the tags inserts, I corner rounded them so they slide in easier and on the other side just to co um, coordinate with the stamping is I stamped up X side of the, the tag as well. And you'll notice here I use that same tab punch to cut that insert. And don't throw that little piece away guys. Glue that back down so you still get like a finished image. You actually don't even see that I did a, uh, a little uh, thumb insert, a thumb pull. But magic, it fits it all together. So anyways, I really enjoyed making this tonight. Um, I just kind of, you know, sat 
first started out with the piece of uh, cardstock, um, I'm sorry, cardboard from the tissue box, and from there I just kind of developed the, the pages. Uh, the cover is some vintage lace that I, that I had in my stash. This here is a Sizzix die, and what I do with all my dies is I take the picture from the paper insert and I tape it to the front so it gives me an idea of what I'm actually yanking out of my stash. So anyways, that's the vine. I ink that as well with my with my trusty color box, brown ink. Added some pearls and some silk flowers. And I think it came out pretty lovely. I um, welcome your comments and, and thoughts. And for more ideas, please stop by Charles Crafting Corner. And I hope you guys have a great night. Take care. Bye-bye.